Franz Kazmir from GKS here. I have a very, very special treat right now. This deserves a hashtag legendary status. Um, for those who may not know, and for those who are not in the know, for shame on you. Shame, yes. shame. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could you please let our audience know who you are? My name is Dawn Pin. I'm an international recording artist, singer, songwriter, composer, musician. I play the piano and the violin and the organ. And I also got nominated for a Grammy in 1994 with my track, my hit track, You Don't Love Me, No, 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 from the album No, No, No and Big Beat Atlantic. Now, everybody should know that song. Do you, can you, I mean, I don't want to impose, but could you say a little piece from the track? Well, I've said so many lines <laughs> on the song. Um, some of them in the dub play style, some in the sound class style, some in the gospel style, some in the original style, and style and style and more style. Till Wu Tang Clan and Beyonce has a track now out as well. And Eve, who started it, you have J Mills. The numbers are numerous, I can't even mention them, but give thanks to people like Lily Allen and Lily Sean Paul and Rihanna and um, Rihanna and Vibes Cartel as well. Mm. And Stretch Armstrong did do a mix as well. What can I say? <laughs> Man, just like you gotta excuse me, audience out there, I'm a little, you know, taken back because I can't even believe that I'm right here right now. But all right, if you could take us back to when you first started in the industry, were there any like struggles, I guess, making a name or for yourself or like any, you know? Music in that time wasn't anything about in the industry. We love music, we love to hear names on the radio, we do in the studio and we sing some song and we do it in business. You can't get a copy anyway. You have no idea about anything with copywriting and da 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 da. But we just did it because we loved music. And over time, we've created loads of songs and size, um, styles and patterns have been used pursuant to the sort of um, music we created in the time. Struggles, well, it was a struggle if you didn't have someone in your corner to put out your music or someone who was looking about your welfare, but that only happened after you probably had a hit or something, come to find out what is a hit now, so that's another ballpark, but it was a learning curve, and over time, things have elapsed to the technology that we have today, which, quote unquote, I give them 20% out of 20%, <laughs> because you can um, do a song and you hear it anywhere in a couple of seconds or you know the mp3 and these type of formats that you have out there to get the things from point a to point b it's exciting all right now as far as music is concerned how do you feel about the genre today or more if you specifically reggae well um i came from an era they call um rock steady um, we had Scare, which was a fast thing, and we had Rock Steady, which was a sort of slow thing. And um, reggae is the final name, they have it now, and things like that. But um, my music was in all these genres. And I forgot your question, but um, how do I see it now? Um, the good news is if you have someone in your corner like a label or some PR person or someone to help you with your music then you can go forward but you could initially have good music that can't go anywhere simply because you don't have anybody backing you or don't have any sponsorship in what you do you know what I mean to bring you to the forefront and everybody is a musician these days everybody is singing and the thing is overcrowded but we all were made to come here and sing to praise God so I know things switch, it become a business, but the big man is still have a prison. Alright, well, welcome back. We just had to change up scenery real quick to accommodate the beautiful and talented Miss Dawn Penn. Alright, now, as far as your back history of like when you were growing up, how, how was it from where you were? Well, that's a trivia question and it will take all night, but you can look at um, my new book story of my life. It is. The, 
I can just pray see what happens in the book. It's all about um, growing up in kindergarten years um, at Luke Lane in Kingston and also living on Church Street, which is in Kingston and North Street and Church Street and also in Kingston Gardens. Um, the movement and what happened over those times, those years that elapsed. That's what I put in this book. And the starting of me doing music, but it didn't really expound on the whole music thing as I would have liked, but because I wanted it to come out so quickly and because I wanted, you know, I just wanted it to come out so quickly. So, um, my memoirs will tell more about different things. My 17 absent years from Jamaica, what I was doing, and my memoirs will tell further on. You see, I'm looking at the bigger picture now. I got you. I or beyond this book. All right. As far as musical artists that you like collaborated with, were there any artists that you wish you could have collaborated with throughout your music career? Yeah, you have a lot of people that you'd have liked to sing with. Um, I've collaborated with um, John Forte, the Republican, or the Fugees. Yes. Excellent singer, songwriter, performer, musician, everything. Great. Um, I've done things with, um, they call themselves Smith and Wesson, but that's not the real name. They have another new name now. It's so hard to remember that little name there. Smith and Wesson, eh? The Coke of Ruffles. <laughs> yes? Um, I have a collaboration where I'm coming on soon with, with Sammy Dredd. It's um, a cover of Barbara Streisand and Barry Gibb Guilty. It sounds great. You're a wonder woman. People, I would like to really, someone I would, I don't know, there's a time when I said, well, you know, I want to work with somebody that creates beats, who has a name. You know the names, I don't want to call people names because some people might get offended if you call a name or whatever. But, um, you have people in the, in the, I think, say, doing something with, say, a Dr. Dre or Eminem, I, I tend to sing the Dido song on my gigs from time to time on the radio on a rhythm that I choose and um, you have people out there that you would probably be elated to do thing with them you know when you go in the studio with somebody like John Porter you already I mean like your creativity gone to 2,000 percent you start creating things and as you say he's doing it you know what I'm saying but um, it's good to be surrounded with positive energy and great music so I think someone that's hot what can I say? I don't want to call about it. Much respect, you got it. All right. Um, I guess as far as what you were saying a while back with how the music genre in, in general, all genres, it's kind of oversaturated because everybody now is like a singer or an artist, a music artist, artist to a certain extent. Do you think that the internet? is a help in that or pretty much like it's destroying the art do you think um i would say yes and no it's a plus and a minus and the thing of the balance on the side of the negativity is that music don't really have any value anymore like how it used to be separate and apart from quote unquote you're not going in the record shop to buy the thing the easy access is good the situation where you can do a track now and you can send it to Timbuktu or Timbuktu in five seconds or five minutes, fine. Or you look up for information and it's at your fingertips, but then I'm saying, why do people commit suicide? You know, use that as a medium or whatever, but um, you know, people connect to people on Facebook, people connect on the social sites. You know, it's it's something to do and it keeps you in the loop, especially when you're cell phones and everything like this. So, music with the technology and everything is good, but we were just talking about genres, you know, it used to be like soul, R&B, jazz, now you have alternative music, something like street funk that gone out the window, electro, techno, Dubstep's coming. dance. Dubstep is hot. My, I have a song that's dubstep right now. Really? City Life, yes. You know, I, I really I'll be do. I'll singing it tonight as well, and it's on YouTube. Dumping online. I can't wait for that. Have a look.
post it to your friend. Do you mind if we <laughs> record it while you're doing it upstairs? No. Okay, cool. You've been classy though. <laughs> Hopefully a hug and a kiss, right? <laughs> I made your plans, that don't work. <laughs> <laughs> that is not an option. You got that said, that's freaking swag, son. That will not be swaggerific. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, son. <laughs> that was the most awesome. All right. Yeah. Much respect. Love this woman. <laughs> All right. YouTube.com slash Duncan online for my videos. Then you have... You know the social sites, Facebook, Twitter, blogging, MySpace and all these things. And um, also, dawnpenonline.com, which is my website, dawnpen.com. Two lovely websites doing absolutely nothing but just sitting up there doing nothing for the past thing. I have to go upgrade them because from doing all my little computer courses, I realize I have to really upgrade the site like at least once every three months. That's a lot. But some people say once a month, right? Yes, and I want to big up Tree Lion and the team, with Mr. Barkley, with ICU and the crew, and PJ and all these things. And I want to bring you my vintage album. It's on my label, and it's music I did from back in the day. And that's what I'm promoting at the minute. Okay? And I have this one called City Life. That's the dubstep in one. Okay. And there's another one called Never Hustle the Music. You can see that also on YouTube. Never Hustle the, the Music? Yes. Yeah, I like that title. I like that title. GKS? Stay in the know. That's the boy. Lord have mercy. Thank you. And, and, and before, and before we go, and before we go, <laughs> gotta all wish Miss Dawn Penn a happy birthday. Can Thank we, you very much. Can I, can I sing to you? Why not? All right. Um, happy birthday to you. Ah, happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Don Penn. Wow. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Oh God. Oh man. Yo, it doesn't even matter. I got it. So I was trying to get that. I was trying to get that. It's still recording. Oh my god, this is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> Fix this damn thing. Why did you fall? <laughs> I'm like, no. But he said it right at the yeah, last minute. Yeah, my shit okay. getting nervous. And <laughs> you can, can get your copy of the, the NLG Presents Crooks, you understand me, volume one, on iTunes, Amazon, and all the other download sites. Yeah? And stay in the know. <laughs> you should die. No. Young yo, yo, stay in the know. They all know, because we know, and we all know that you know, but you don't know what I know, you know? So stay in the know. <laughs> son, swag, son, swag. Oh, man. And of course, and of course, Tino, man, true chaos productions, man. Man. Tino, son. Freaking bless you, bro. Bless you, man. Awesome, bro. Stay in the no, 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 son. That's. <laughs> oh, man, I love this. I'm man. not laughing. Uh, <laughs> She's like, don't mess up my son. Word. <laughs> <All right. laughs>